Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is April 29th, and this is your aftermarket update. So we did have a good day here at the Oil Trading Group. In fact, uh, if you take a look up here in the top right-hand corner, you can see uh, that we had uh, $7.36 in commission. That's uh, $3.68 round trip per contract. And you can see that uh, our P&L on the CL today, which is the only instrument that we traded, uh, was 700 and ninety dollars so not a bad rate of return one good trade got us to where we needed to be today so um, again and that's that's really all uh, to be credited to uh, the trade plan that we put out here today we're going to talk a little bit about that trade plan here in just a moment and we're going to talk about the setups uh, that revolved around that particular uh, trade as well so I'm going to bring a couple I'm going to bring a different chart down here in front of you here these are the CQG uh, integrated chart trader charts and this is a 15 minute chart so if you take a look here on the trade plan today we talked about the fact that we would be looking short at the 4660 to 4675 area with our sweet spot being 4674 and we talked about the market being in a neutral to sideways projection here today and again we talked about that that the market can present difficult trading conditions on a day like today opportunity exists on both sides of the market and risk management should be aggressive and again as you can see from the primary and secondary strategies the inflection points will be the major major decision points and then market can go either where can go sorry can go in either direction or it can stay in a potentially choppy range. So when I say inflection points here are the key, you look here 4660, I'm looking to get short in the primary strategy, but if we break out above it at 4675 to 4690, uh, then you would be looking to get long. So this area right here on the chart was the decision point, uh, and we give you an alternate strategy here on your secondary. So the way that we break the market down, uh, we break the market down into uh, three specific ways that we look at it we give you uh, structure in the form of levels then we give you a strategy based on the market conditions and in this case today uh, the market conditions we projected to be neutral to choppy and then we give you a set of tactics based on uh, the individual level and then the strategy around that level so i'm going to show you uh, the tactic sheets here. Give me just a second. Let me get this pulled up for you. Okay. So what you look here, take a look at your trade plan. And here is the tactics worksheet that we uh, provide to you here. Let's go into read mode so we can make this a little bit easier to see. And we'll stretch this out like this. So we break this uh, tactic sheets up into breakout trades or fade trades. Okay. So these are all the breakout trades that we have on this. And then here are your fade trades. So one of the things that we looked at here as we were leading into uh, this support and resistance zone here, and we'll expand this at 46.60 to 46.75. That is your F1 tactic, the F1 tactic here. Uh, basically, the rules for this is as the market rallies into a particular zone, you looking for overbought or oversold conditions as it rallies into that zone. Today, the sweet spot of that zone was 46.74, and we were looking to get short. Now, what we also said, however, is if we end up breaking through that zone, and you're going to hear me say this on the video, but if we end up breaking up through this zone at 46.75, and you can either take a breakout strategy above 46.90, or you can wait as an alternative for it to break 46.90, then fall back, and you could get limit order long on a pullback at 46.75. That was going to be the alternative strategy. So again, we talked about this particular level today uh, being an important level and kind of a decision point. And so in that very in the very first part of the OTG trade of the day, you're going to hear me say just that. You're going to hear me reference this uh, this trade plan. Uh, and I'm gonna, you're going to hear me say that if I get in and I get taken out at 86, then I may look to get long out of the other side of 75. And that's the primary and secondary strategy based on what we were seeing. Now, this trade plan was made available to all of our subscribers uh, 12 hours prior, 9 p.m. the previous night. 
uh, the previous evening. We have an indicator that bolts to your chart. We put that uh, trade plan uh, in that uh, on that indicator, and it pulls up a window uh, very similar to this on your computer. But again, that is put out 12 hours in advance, so we don't really know uh, with 100% certainty what's going to happen at that level. Uh, we have a general idea, but we give you the primary and the secondary strategy to play it around that level. Today, the primary strategy was 4660 to 4675. Uh, you would be looking for overbought conditions here on your tactics. That's the F1. As you rallied into that zone, 4674 uh, would have been the sweet spot for a short. And let's see what happened here. So again, I'm marked here on this chart, 4674, and you can see right here, uh, let's see, we'll draw this. You can see right here, this, uh, whoops, you can see this red triangle and this red triangle indicate on the CQG platform that we are in overbought conditions. So we came right up into that level, 4674, as identified by the green line here. Uh, we were at the top of the Bollinger Bands. We talk in here about putting just a standard 20 uh, with a two standard deviation Bollinger Band on the top. And as it gets into the top of that Bollinger Band, you would be looking uh, for that push back. So again, very clear. This was the setup and that is the OTG trade of the day. And what we were able to do successfully on this trade uh, today, and we'll come back up here. Uh, you can see this is that same area. We came right up into that support resistance area. Uh, the high on the day uh, was uh, the high on the day was 78. So really, essentially, what we did by selling 74 is we sold the high uh, of the day. There, market comes all the way down. We were looking to target down to 75. It comes down to uh, the 90 area. We get taken out at around 04. So we ended up writing one one contract off uh, for 10 ticks, and the next contract we rode uh, down and off for just about 70 ticks. I think it actually ended up being 69 ticks that we got slipped out at uh, at that point. But that is the OTG trade of the day. There is only one trade today. We didn't take anything on the ES. We talk about it. You'll hear me talk about uh, the ES uh, in that uh, in this video. You'll hear me talk a little bit about the ES and why I decided against taking anything over there today. Uh, a bottom line is that uh, they, these markets have been moving in correlation with one another. And so we just decided to stand aside from the ES. We had a nice uh, CL trade on our hands developing, and uh, we ended up taking uh, the CL trade here, uh, one lot for 10 ticks and the other for 79 on a single trade today. So the uh, OTG trade of the day video is about 17 minutes long. Uh, you can see it in its entirety. You'll see from the point where I get in at 74 all the way down to where I end up getting taken out right around that 0405. So really nice trade today. Uh, nice way to get our weekend started. And so without further ado, here is that OTG trade of the day. I am short at 74. My stop is 86. Stop is 86. I'm going to look to target one off at 64. Targeting one off at 64. You've got limit orders long at 70. I'm in here at 74 short. And again, if we get up through that 85, 86 and we pull back, I may look to get long at that point. We are overbought up here. I'm looking for a pullback. And you're at the top of your bands. Stop is at 86. ES is coming down. We got to get through 70 here. We're going to need to push through the 70. You've got liquidity down here at 70 right now. 129 limit orders long at 70. This idea is on your trade plan, okay? So it is a tweener area here. Trying to decide if we're going to continue the rally here or not, right? My idea is this is the top of the zone for the neutral conditions, right? There is a chance that we pull out of this zone, right? And we'll see. There's 68. Let's see if we can get our first target here at 64, First target. There's 70, 69. You've got liquidity down there at 56. 68, 67. Okay. Stop here is break even now at 74. There's 65. Hit through. First target hit and filled. Trail stop now 74. That makes sense? You understand what I just did there and why I did it? Do you understand the rationality behind it?
Cool. First target hit. Now I'm protecting at break even here. Okay. Now you could be above this 74, 75 if you wanted to, right? You could be above this 74, 75 if you wanted to, but there is a chance now that we retrace back to 46, 25, 50 ticks from here. We'll see. Come on, baby. Let's go. We're going to do it. Let's go, go, go. Let's do it to it. Okay, so now let's take today's swing low, okay? And let's measure it to the high. There is a chance we could retrace to 45.97. There's a chance we could retrace to 45.97. Okay, you are now 15 ticks-ish away from the entry. And you've got liquidity at 56. So you've got some liquidity down here at 56. DS target at the top. Yep, Chris, you're right about that. There's 58, 57. We're going to look to try to target at 46.25 underneath. You can bring that stop now to 40, to 71. We'll see how we handle the liquidity at 56. Point of controls at 48. Again, we're in, I'm still on uncertain footing here as to whether or not we'll sell out of this zone. We quickly now are back underneath overbought on your 15-minute chart. You've got 100 at 57, another 127 at 56. And then you've got more liquidity down there at 50. So I'm not going to give two, I'm not going to give, I'm not going to trail it too tight yet. Not yet. I want you to see what you've just run into here on your one minute. This is your OTG trend finder filter. We just hit the daily structure target on the ES. Uh, we may rally out of that zone right there. I'm not taking the ES yet. I, I'm gonna. I'm kind of in this idea that we're gonna continue this push here, and they have been working in sync with one another recently, and so I don't want to get counter. I don't want to get short on one and long on the other, right? I don't want to go counter. I don't want to be hedging myself on this. I'm. I'm in a nice oil trade that looks like it wants to fail, so we'll just take advantage of that, right? 57, 56, we got to get through and then down through 50. Fifty nine, fifty eight, push through it. Come on, get through that 58, 57, 56. There's 58 again. Only 11 on the bid at 57. Now we're hitting through it. There's 57. You've got 120 limit orders long at 56. And you've got an iceberg order at 57. Bring the trail stop here now to 69. That ES is rallying hard off of the daily structure target. That's why I said we could potentially look to get long. I would wait till down there. 2058 half. And where are you at now? 2059 quarter. So I did not take an ES trade, okay? I just stood back. I'm in short on the CL, okay? I'm in short on the CL. Chris, there was absolutely an opportunity to take out that DS target. and But I did not because oil has been moving in sync. They have been correlating together. I'm in a nice short. The momentum feels short here on the CL. I didn't want to get in opposite of that and have, you know, be hedging myself. So, you know, that that's the rationale for not getting into it there.
69 is the trail stop here. We did. We have hit. Uh, we had 18 hit the uh, bid at 56. We've had 410 hit the bid at 57. So 56, 57 are areas that uh, are important here. I think we're gonna we're gonna try to hit down into that 25 zone here. I think we're gonna try to target that 25 zone and maybe. The 70.5 retracement all the way down to 45.97. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? There's 55. Good. 110 long at 55. We just chewed through them. So, Michael, I, I know you asked me questions about how I would play that. Um, does that make sense? What I just how we went through that process? There is no new entry, RJ. No new entries here. No new entries. And if I look to add somewhere along the path, new ad spots are not new entries, by the way. Okay. So if you if you missed it, we just missed it. Okay, very cool, Michael. Excellent. Yep. So I just don't want to get you hung up. There's if I look to add, that's not new entries, right? I don't know if it's going to continue from there, but I'm going to take the chance, and I'm in the spot that I'd wanted to be in. All right, so here we go. Let's go through it here. Uh, there's 45, 44. Got to go ahead and bring this trail stop from 74 to 59. We're going to look to try to target 25 here. We're going to look to try to target 25. You've got 143 long at 38. Daily structure mid at uh, 4609 underneath you. That would be cool. All right, on your market maker levels, on the CL. Okay, bring this trail stop to, I want to stay in this, 64, 10 ticks to 64. So on this, we got over the structure signal, could not get to the structure target. I'm expecting it to reach out to the structure signal underneath you at 4567 as a possibility. Now, our job will be to try to hang on as long as we can, add it when we can, those kinds of things. There's 42, 41. All right, bring this trail stop down to 54 for now. Okay, hopefully you're riding the lightning with me here. We're going to look to try to get through 25, maybe down to 06 or 90, down to the 70.5 at 45.97. Trail stop here now is 49. Not bad for one single trade today, right, so far? We'll take this if we can get underneath it here. Been down to 36 on the low. The 200-period SMA on the uh, three-minute chart is at 32. Bring the trail stop back to 54 for now. Okay. And if you want to use your trend finder, filter here it is here at uh 60 would be your stop you wanted to use your trend finder filter atr as a potential uh stopping point you could do that but i'm not you've got liquidity here at 35 then 30 and then down there at 20 right all right so bring this trail stop here now to 49 again there's 38 37 let's see if we could continue the push into 25. When we get to 25, it'll probably I'm going to probably take an 11 tick stop, so to 36, because we may find support there at 25. So we are at 35 here. You've got 100 limit orders long at 35 now. 100 limit orders long at 35. So this was all of this has been spelled out very clearly many, many hours in advance on your trade plan, right? Many, many hours in advance on your trade plan. And we are following the trade plan to the letter. There's 33, 32. Bring this down to 54. You've got limit orders long at 33 right now. Yeah, 44. Sorry, Jesse. 44 is the trail stop. We're looking to at least get to 25. Bring it down to 39 on the trail stop. We may pause at 25. We may pause at 25, but if we keep going, look out below, right? 
Um, those are just, uh, we'll talk about that in a minute, Jack. Yep, and we know you're new to the room, and so we'll talk about those in just a few minutes. Bring this trail stop now to 36. There's 25 target. Okay, now I didn't take it off, but I think we're going to push deeper here. But there's your 25 target. You've got limit orders long at 20. There's 22, 21, 20, 19. Bring the trail stop now to 28. All right, look at this thing go, guys. Look at this go. There's your 06. How's that for home run? I'm going to add one. Well, we got 97. I'm going to add one at 84. Looking for, well, I'm not going to add one down there. We're going to try to ride it to 76. Bring this trail stop here now to 22. Trail stop to 22 here. I think, if it will let me. There's 22 on the trail stop. My Ninja Trader behaving poorly at the moment. Settlement down here. We just hit the daily structure mid. Finding some support there. 4603. All right, let's see if we could get 100 ticks out of this. 100 ticks would be down here to 74. Okay, we're going to see if we can ride this down to 74. I'm going to put one lot down there on the target at 74. We're going to bring the trail stop here now to 19 on the trail stop. 78 ticks positive here right now. Is that right? What is our, I don't even know where our entry is anymore. Huh. Okay, there's 03, 02. Bring the trail stop down here to 14. Trail stop now to 14. 74 is the target underneath you here. 46, you have limit orders long. You have 132 limit orders long at 46 right now. We just got into the 70.5 down here. And so this may be where it pauses is around this 97. Although I am looking for a potential move all the way down into 45, 76, 74, something like that. We'll see. 133 limit orders long at 00. We got a break. We do that. This thing may go crazy here for us. May take us out down at our target. Get through 0302, fight through it. There we go, get through it. Trail stop now at uh, 14 still. 09 now, trail stop, target 76, 09. It's target 76, 74 is the target underneath you here. May move this down to 04 now on the target. The trail stop is at 04. There's 92, 91. We're looking to take out 74 underneath this. You've got 169 long at 90. We got to get through it. Come on, get through, get through it here. Thanks, Homs. It's good to have you in here. So you saw us get really patient yesterday, right? And uh, not do anything, right? And then it paid off today, right? We saved our bullets and we came in yesterday, here today, and uh, we had a decent trade here. Okay, move this trail stop to 99 now. We got to get through the 90 level. Actually, make this trail stop 04, just ahead of settlement, 04, just ahead of settlement here. Come on, muscle through, 96, 95 here. And looking to try to take it down into that 74 zone. We'll see here. Limit order short at 0, 0, and then I'm behind settlement as the trail stop. I think we're going to hit our target down there. Let's just see if we can do it. We're running into support down here at 90. You've got an iceberg order at 95, but at this point, who cares? Hey, great way to start, Jesse. How many lots are you on? Four? Two? Four? How many lots are you on? Damn, dude, you killing it here. Putting some hay in the barn here today. Got to get down through 90. If we can hit through 90, we should get really close to our target down there. Right, if we get to 76 and can't get through it, then, then we'll do something else. There's 92, 91. So 
So see if we can pop through the 90 area here. So this doesn't happen every day, but as Jesse correctly pointed out a little bit, about an hour ago, that the, mo the market was constipated yesterday. That's not his, not my words, not his. But that was indeed the case, right? Congested, couldn't get through it. And yep, we're at the 70.5. Yep, we sure are. And that's why we are holding tough here underneath this. My stop is at 04. And you understand now why I left the ES trade alone, right? They have been, these markets have been correlating together. And even though that was a setup on the ES, these markets have been correlating. And you did get a bit of a rally off of that, right? You did get a bit of a rally off of that ES move. But for me, my stop here is at 04, by the way, and I'm out.